Hey everyone, how's it going? Elliot here and welcome to the Retro Future. I have in front of me the Nintendo DS ML. That popular DS model that we've all heard of. Sorry, have I missed a DS release? Was there a DS that got released somewhere that we just didn't hear about? I have no idea. What is this thing? Why is it so big? And yeah, what is going on? Look, this is the Nintendo DS Lite. What's happening here? What is happening? I have absolutely no idea what this thing is, why it exists, and uh, what's inside it. But without any further ado, let's find out. So I found this thing on Taobao, which is a Chinese buying site, a little bit like eBay, but for China. Um, anybody can sell anything on Taobao in China. Uh, so this thing popped up and uh, it was just marketed as a Nintendo DS. So this is the listing right here and it literally is called the NDS, Nintendo DS Game Console Brand New. So they're selling this thing as a brand new games console. And if I flick through a couple of the pictures, um, you can see it's just a very weird looking Nintendo DS. Now, unfortunately, I do actually have one uh, with a box, but that's stuck in China. They won't let me ship it to my address for some reason. Um, so this one I had to buy again, uh, and a friend of mine, Jamie, bought it for me and shipped it over to me from uh, Japan, actually. So this thing has been all over the place to get here. So here it is. It's absolutely enormous, like it is huge. Um, it's kind of got this very DS Lite looking design. If you'd never seen a DS Lite before, or if you hadn't seen a DS, light in many years picking up this thing you're not going to feel too suspicious the biggest difference between this and the DS Lite is that um, that hinge piece at the top uh, this one's just completely flat the whole way on this side there's nothing on the back it says DSML it doesn't actually say Nintendo on here anywhere that is one thing I noticed there is no mention of Nintendo anywhere on this device so it says at the bottom here made in China surprise surprise you've got a fake little serial number um, you've got the obviously the cartridge port you've got your stylus which is a pretty normal looking stylus very similar to the uh, DS Lite you've got your LNR shoulder buttons uh, which feel absolutely great. Now, some eagle-eyed people might get some indication of what this is by looking at that view, but we're going to go through it in just a sec. You've got your lanyard hole, your DS cartridge slot, and your charging port. On the bottom, you've got the slot for the GBA, so we're going to have to give that a test in a second, which is exciting. This thing is really weird. On the, uh, the DS Lite one, um, you've got a sort of a fake, oh yeah, this is a dummy DS Lite, that's not going to work. But you've got sort of a fake cartridge, um, whereas this one is completely hollow and there's nothing inside it. So, let's put that back in there. You've got your battery in there. We're going to take this thing apart at the end and figure out what's actually going on inside. So I'm interested to see the battery. Watch it be like a D-cell battery, just, <laughs> just to make things completely confusing. You've got your headphone jack at the bottom, and you've got your little volume slider there as well. So that's pretty much it for the outside. And then if we flip it open, oh, good grief, that's ugly. That is ugly. Look at the sheer size of this thing. Look at it compared to the DS Lite. It's absolutely enormous. But yeah, you've got your you've got your action buttons over here, which all feel perfectly fine. Start and select, uh, and you've got your D-pad, and then you've got your power button. So again, some eagle-eyed people might start getting a bit of an indication as to what this could be. And then you've got your speakers at the top and your two screens, and that is your lot. So, what do I think this thing is before we turn it on? I think it's one of these. I think it's an original Nintendo DS. I think there's an abundance of these things lying around and China have gone, let's make some new shells and throw them in there and sell them. Does that seem like a logical thing to do? Yeah, it does. Um, it, it looks different, it looks unique. It's probably gonna get some of these out of their warehouses. Um, but yeah, if you look at it now, the layout of everything is the same, isn't it? You got your power switch there, uh, you got your start and select up there. Um, the thing I was mentioning earlier was the charging port because the DS Lite has a different uh, charging port. Um, so yeah, it's clearly just one of these things that has been slapped into a new shell. And uh, I'm all for it because I love that. I could have built up a bit more suspense and gone, oh, what's gonna happen when we turn it on? But it's exactly what you'd expect. It's just the, uh, the, the regular Nintendo DS thing. And I'm sure it's gonna play DS games perfectly fine, but here is Nintendogs. Let's shove this in. So let's see if my dogs are still alive. It seems to be loading absolutely perfectly. And there we go. Unfortunately, the, the screens on the old DS's are pretty crap compared to like the DS Lite and the DSi, so this is not the most 
optimal way of playing your DS games these days. But um, yeah, I suppose if you if you if someone bought this for you, you wouldn't really... I mean, I don't, I don't know why they've made this, in fairness. For all we know, it could be like an old product. Um, there is no information about it anywhere. So it could be an old product that... Um, that they're just selling again now, but I never heard about this. I've never seen it before. No one's covered any sort of videos on it. I have no idea. Very, very confusing. Um, but yeah, there we go. It works absolutely perfectly. Let's try a GBA game just for the sake of it. But again, I reckon that's going to work as well. There you go. That's going to work perfectly. Yeah, I mean, it's a Nintendo DS. There's there's nothing uh, there's nothing too crazy going on. Let's open it up and, and just see a Nintendo DS motherboard inside it. But I want to see if there's anything interesting. There we go, Nintendo DS uh, regular battery, nothing special or crazy there. Um, it's a bit bloated, but which would mean that it's probably not the healthiest of thing, but I can't imagine that they uh, they bothered replacing any dodgy looking parts when they made these. Um, it's, yeah, probably been done in the cheapest possible way. Okay, let me quickly undo all these screws. It is actually quite impressive that they have made a shell to fit the DS uh, inside it. I think that's quite cool. I, don't, I wonder how they did that, if it was like 3D modeling or if they just took a crap ton of measurements, like pretty goddamn impressive, you gotta admit. They earned their 20 pounds on this day. All right, so let's take off the back and see what's inside. Yup. A Nintendo DS motherboard. I, uh, I just had to think there for a moment if that is what that looked like. But yeah, that is exactly it. You know what? Let's uh, let's whip this one open as well just to take a look. So there we go. It's exactly the same. Not a single difference because it is just the motherboard. Well, the internals of a uh, Nintendo DS, a regular Nintendo DS inside of a new shell. Rather interesting. Hopefully you've enjoyed this little video. What a weird thing. It's quite cool seeing the Nintendo DS ML logo. Um, I'm sure ML must mean something. Um, in Japan, the DS XL was LL. So you've got like the new 3DS LL and the DSi LL, that kind of stuff. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I hope you've enjoyed. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. If you enjoyed the video, leave a like and let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section down below. I will catch you all in the next one. Goodbye.